Hey guys, John with RockWest.TV. I'm here in the Gibson Acoustic Room with Don. He's going to give us a rundown of what's new with acoustics this year. Gibson, they look incredible. Take it away. It's fun. We're doing some new lines of guitars, but the one that's most exciting to us is what we're calling our historic custom line. We went back in history, looked at what years, what guitars shaped Gibson, shaped the acoustic guitar world. Picked out specific years, found real examples of these instruments, and replicated them. Mm. Going back to the very beginning, the first full-size acoustic guitar that Gibson made was called the Jumbo. It was made yep. in 1934. We have a 34 Jumbo right here. The neck, the neck profile is, is incredible. Just the shading, the coloration that we did on this, it just it looks like an old guitar. It does. All of the, the entire line has some similarities across the board. They all use thermally aged tops. Mm. Other companies call it Torfide, but mm. it's artificially aged tops. Yep. Makes the guitars responsive, makes them lighter. One thing that we always tout with the Gibson Acoustics is the use of our nitrocellulose lacquer. Yep. And for decades, the lacquer is getting thinner and thinner as it dissipates, as it gets mm -hmm. absorbed. So we thought, well, let's not wait decades and decades. Let's just put less lacquer on these. So instead of our normal nine coats, we put four coats of lacquer on here. The guitars, the weight of these is just phenomenal. The, the responsiveness is incredible. A lot of that has to do with the thinner lacquer we're doing. Yeah, the vibrates more. Absolutely. Uh, just the appointments, the tuners, the logos, everything is right in, right on par with the way it was. We start with the 34 Jumbo through the 36. J35 and AJ, pre-war J200, Rosewood with that beautiful pickguard, 39 J55, and then you got your 1942 Banner Collection. LG2, J45, Southern Jumbo. Moving into the 50s, 1952, J185, and two different finishes, natural or sunburst. 1957, J200. Dynamic, they just look so well. Yeah, and uh, sunburst and natural. And then you got your hummingbirds from the 60s. Mm -hmm. We know a lot of the original hummingbirds had the adjustable bridge, but we know that some people that's, they, that's not really the thing. Yep. So we're offering it in both so options, that. which is just, I think, from a marketing standpoint for the dealers that give them a little bit more flexibility, from a player standpoint, this would be the guitar just like their dad had. Mm -hmm. Just like my grandpa had, kind of, kind of mindset. Mm -hmm. So we we're just we're, we're having so much fun with this. Fantastic. And again, the, the guitars look great. Yep. They sound incredible, and we're having fun. Sound incredible is what's important. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. They look good, but they have to sound good. Yeah. So Fantastic. The Gibson's Gibson, always do. The Gibson acoustic guitars, the custom historic collection. Built by the greatest guitar makers in the world in Bozeman, Montana, Gibson Acoustic. Fantastic. Thanks so much. You're welcome. John with Rockwest.tv, NAM 2020. Check out these Gibsons. They caught my eye. They're incredible. Peace out. Can't speak it. Fantastic. I wanted to do the I used to have